Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video we will learn how we can create tables in sqlite database in the previous video of this series we learn how we can create sqlite database in android and in this video we will see how we can create tables in runtime or when you will create your database so let's start when you will create the reference of your database class first of all your own create method will be called and here we will create a table so we have to write our code to create the table inside this own create method here you can see that uh, we have got a reference of our sqlite database so i will use this reference db.exec execute sql and in the double quotation i will write right here create table create table space here we have to write our table name so i will not write my table name inside this query i will define a variable here of type private static final and the type of this variable would be string table underscore name is equal to double quotation and here i will type my table name which is contacts that's it and i will concatenate this so i will type here plus space table underscore name that's it again i have to type here plus so first of all let me show you how our query will be look like so i will comment my query here i will type here create table and here i will write that table name and our table name is contacts after this i have to start this bracket id integer primary key auto increment so this is our first column name and this is the data type of our first column and because it will be a primary key of our table that's why i type here the word primary key and auto increment what does it means that when you will insert a new record inside your table the sqlite will insert a new record with new incremented value suppose the previous record id is 100 sqlite will insert the new record with id 101 and so on after this we will type comma and our second column name which would be name and uh, the data type of our second column which will be text again we have to type comma and at last we have to write the third column name which is phone number p h o n e underscore and o number and the data type of our last column and then we have to cross our this bracket so we will create our query like this so here you can see that we have write create table space create table name and after this we have to concatenate this and next i have to again start this bracket space and i have to type my col column name here so i will declare my first column here with the private static final string key underscore id is equal to id so this is our first column name i will co copy this row and paste here two times and uh, this will be our second column name which is key underscore name name and at last we have to write the third column name which will be key underscore phone number and here we have to write our third column name phone number the reason i declare these variables here be because we will often need to use these variables in our app so we can use these variable easily and now here i have to type my first column name which is key underscore id and plus is equal to double quotation the data type of our this column which is integer primary key auto increment and here we have to type the comma next we type here plus and here we have to type our sec second column name which is key underscore name plus double quotation data type of our second column which is text comma plus and we have to write here our third column name which is key underscore phone number plus double quotation the data type of our third column phone number will be also text and at last we have to close our this bracket so we have create a query which will create a table with the name context and it will create three columns for us id name and phone number because we have write this code inside our own kit method that's why when your user will create the reference of this database class this table will be automatically created but you can also create these tables in the runtime by using this technique now we will learn what is the purpose of, of our own upgrade method suppose you make some changes in your tables or you add some new tables suppose you add a new column in your table or you change the data type of any column then our this function will be called and here we have to first of all again we, we have to use the reference of our database class which is db and we have to use this function execute sql in the double quotation first we will drop our table drop table if exists this is the sql query and here by concatenate this i will type my table name 
so my table name is stored in this variable and again we have to call our own create method and inside our own create method we have to pass the reference of our database so that's why our own upgrade method is used so guys i hope you must enjoy this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos and finally thanks for watching